Hello my magical light being and welcome to this video today. My name is Shalita, welcome to my channel. My channel is all about magical consciousness and in today's video I wanted to share about the importance of gratitude and appreciation to set a healthy foundation for your reality. As for me, my self-love journey, my unconditional love journey started all with one small act of gratitude. And so that is what I want to share with you today as I know there is an importance and a focus on being grateful for your reality, but I don't know if people really, really let that sink in. How powerful gratitude and appreciation really can be. Because it has been for me really powerful. And I've seen a lot of people being talking about that, you know, you don't get there only with <laughs> being grateful or appreciative. But it is a really beautiful start and it lays a really beautiful foundation for a more deeper journey with yourself and for, you know, going into the depths of, for example, your shadows or healing work. And for me, that's the case because... It was a few years ago when I was really depressed and I was suicidal. I had suicidal thoughts. I hated my body. I hated myself. I hated life. I was done with life. I wanted to give up on life. And at that time, the first thing that I experienced was that I asked for more. I asked God to show me the way. And it filled me up with so much joy, with so much love and light for just a split moment. From that moment on, I started to be curious on how to attain and how to bring that knowing and that feeling that I experienced back into my body. Because I had remembered and received the awareness and the remembrance of love. And when I started my spiritual journey, one of the things that came to me first was gratitude and the law of attraction and how to attract beautiful things in your reality. And I was manifesting, I was creating vision boards at the time and I really was really wanting to be grateful for my reality but I wasn't and I didn't know how to be. And so it was one day where I was just sitting in my room and I just looked at myself in the mirror and I just was like, I can't do this. Like, I can't love myself. I can't see the beauty in myself. I don't know what to do. Where do I start? Like, people will be telling me I should be grateful for my life and for my body and for all these things, but I just can't be grateful. I can just not appreciate this. I cannot appreciate why God made me look like this. I cannot appreciate it. So that was my perspective back in 2018 and then I realized it was one night where I realized I put my hand on my heart and I felt it beating. That night I realized that, that God was keeping me alive and that I could be grateful for my heartbeat. And so I realized, wait, I don't have to love my external physical self. I can just start with the inside. I can start with one simple thing of my heart being grateful for a heart that's beating and that's where I went on that's where I started practicing every single day I had committed to learning gratitude and to learn to appreciate my existence because I knew that I didn't want to live a life anymore in complaint in judgment in self-hate in insecurity I wanted to live my dream life at the time, my dream life and the awareness of my dream life was so superficial. Um, it was really the surface level of my dream life, <laughs> definitely. But from that moment on, I started to go deeper. So I started with gratitude. And so every night I would tell my, my organs and the inside of my body, my gratitude, my lungs, my heart, my uh, blood, my whatever was all inside our freaking body, my brain, um, all the workings. Until one night where I looked at my skin, maybe I had chills, I don't know what happened, but I looked at my skin and the first thought that I had was thank you. And that was the moment. That's when I realized that it was possible to love myself fully. This full physical self, the full inside of myself, and everything that comes with me, I could start to say thank you for it. 
to appreciate it because it was given to me and I was fortunate enough to receive what I have received for this life and that I should be grateful for and so that was my realization and from the moment on so many beautiful things started to shift I started to be able to be grateful and thankful appreciative practice appreciation for myself for my gifts, for my mindset, for my childhood. Appreciative and grateful for my reality. And the beautiful thing that happens from that is that love, loving your reality, is not that far away from that. That you can start to hold your fear, your anxiety, your anger, your hate, your lust, in appreciation for its existence. And that you have an option to let it go or to hold on. Because we need appreciation to be able to forgive. We cannot forgive if we cannot appreciate. That's the connection. And so when you start to be grateful for every single moving part on this planet, you become unconditional. You become unconditionally loving. And then, <laughs> because that is really the oneness, Christ consciousness, 5D type of mentality. What I understand the love and light part that people talk about. It is, this is not just only love and light. No, from that point, you can now start to set really powerful boundaries. And you can start to create a reality that actually matches with you. That you don't have to invite everything in because you're grateful for everything or for life. No, that doesn't mean you could just let this person walk all over you. Through the appreciation and gratitude for everything that is, you as well start to be grateful and appreciative of the things that you just personally want. Your personal desires, how you want to live your reality, how you want to live your life. You start to be grateful for that too. And you start to realize that what you need for that is boundaries. What you need for that is your decision. What you need for that is your respect to be able to create that reality but through the appreciation and gratitude you start to arrive in love you start to get in contact with unconditional love isn't it so beautiful when you walk around for example in nature i know you have had this experience before it's a sunset a sunrise you look at the sky look at the clouds look at the tree it's always a reflection of nature because it's literally a reflection of unconditional love of life you look at it and you're just like wow it's not even a thought that you say i'm thankful for this it might arise <laughs> but it's an inner knowing of just the beauty of it of how beautiful it is and not beauty and external beauty it's just this inner knowing of that you are a part of this thing called life that's what you know in that moment that you are a part of something bigger you're a part of that whole and you feel the wholeness when you look at it you you see nature you see the little ladybug walking on a little plant and you're like wow this is mesmerizing that all stems from appreciation and gratitude you cannot experience that if you are not having attained some sort of appreciation and gratitude for yourself because you're alive and your your perception of life is a reflection of your perception of yourself and so that's why I just wanted to share the story today because I think it's always important to have reminders and to remind ourselves and even for myself to make this reminder for myself to come back to the simple things. The very simple little tools called gratitude and appreciation and affirmation. They are a necessity of the path for you to have some sort of awareness of gratitude of affirmation to affirm things you want to affirm it's it's a part of it it's it's necessary you can only be grateful for as much as you can be grateful for within yourself and if you cannot be grateful for certain specific things know that that doesn't mean you never can be grateful for it or never appreciate it because the same is for me i hated my body and i never thought i could appreciate my body now I do. What the heck? <laughs> it's possible. And so that's the same with everything. If you can't right now 
understand why something happened the way it happened. You cannot see gratitude or appreciation in the circumstance. That's okay. You don't have to force yourself to appreciate it because that's not necessary. <laughs> it's like literally not necessary. But it's to know that it is actually possible for you to hold gratitude and appreciation and awareness and unconditional love for this. That at the end of the day, that's what happened. And this is where you are right now. And where do you want to go from this moment on? Who, you, who do you want to be from this moment on? Do you want to be a person that continues living life in regret, in doubt, in shame, in insecurity, in self-hate, in fear, in sadness? I don't think so. I don't think you want to continue living on like that if you watched all the way to this moment. And so this is your invitation! Invite it in! Some gratitude, some appreciation for your reality because you're alive and that is worth celebrating. So that's it. That felt like a beautiful completion point. Celebrate your existence in every detail of your reality as much as you can, even if it makes no sense. Because one day it will make sense and you will look back and be like, I'm so grateful for that. I decided on gratitude. Wow, I cannot think that because I decided that. <laughs> so let me know how this resonated. Thank you so much for tuning in with this video today and I wish you such a magical day today. Bye.